Hello, Ms. Pneumatic here. Today, we're going to study hydraulic cylinders. A hydraulic cylinder is a device that converts the fluid energy of a hydraulic oil into mechanical energy, and it is a popular equipment driven in hydraulic systems. This hydraulic cylinder converts the fluid energy of a hydraulic oil generated in a hydraulic generating part, such as a hydraulic pump, into mechanical energy to perform tasks of pushing or pulling and moving an object. Today, we'll look at these hydraulic cylinders and study them. Now, stories of hydraulic cylinders in the words of Ms. Pneumatic. Let's begin right away. First, we'll look at a standard type hydraulic cylinder of KCC, which is called KP140HC, and it's inside to learn about the structure of a hydraulic cylinder. A hydraulic cylinder basically consists of a tube, a head cover, a rod cover, a piston, a piston rod, and numerous packings. The tube here wraps all parts of a cylinder and determines the direction of the piston's movement, whereas the head cover and rod cover serve as lids at each end of the cylinder. The piston is a disc-shaped part that performs reciprocating motions inside the cylinder tube, and the high-pressure hydraulic oil pushes this piston to turn the force of the fluid into a mechanical force. The piston rod is a part that is fixed on the piston and it serves to deliver the mechanical force converted by the piston to the outside. Finally, packing parts serve to seal the cylinder so that hydraulic oil does not leak. The piston packing prevents the hydraulic oil supply to the head axis or rod axis from going over to the opposite space with the rod packing preventing the hydraulic oil supplied to the rod axis from leaking outside through the edges of the piston rod or a gap with the rod cover. Likewise, a dust seal prevents the penetration of external foreign substances to protect the rod seal, and the wearing prevents wear caused by the metal-metal contact between the cylinder tube and piston. Looking at a hydraulic cylinder, it seems to have a structure similar to a pneumatic cylinder. But these two types of cylinders have several differences. For those of you who are curious about pneumatic cylinders, please refer to our previous video. A hydraulic cylinder and a pneumatic cylinder use different fluids, so they are manufactured to suit their respective fluids. Unlike a pneumatic cylinder that uses compressed air, a hydraulic cylinder uses high-pressure hydraulic oil. Thus, these two cylinders have different ranges of pressures used. Pneumatic cylinders use up to 10 bars of pressure, whereas hydraulic cylinders typically use a maximum of 210 bars. In other words, the pressure used by hydraulic cylinders is much higher than that used by pneumatic cylinders. For this reason, hydraulic cylinders must have a structure capable of withstanding much greater pressure than pneumatic cylinders, which is why all of the parts, including tubes, head covers, rod covers, pistons, and piston rods, are made of steel. Pneumatic cylinders, which use a relatively lower pressure than hydraulic cylinders, typically consist of tubes, head covers, rod covers, and other parts that are made of aluminum alloy. Since steel has three to four times greater strength than aluminum, it has the advantage of withstanding the high pressure of hydraulic oil and about three times greater specific gravity. So a hydraulic cylinder weighs much more than a pneumatic cylinder. These two types of cylinders also have structural differences. As I mentioned earlier, a hydraulic cylinder has to endure relatively higher pressure than a pneumatic cylinder. So its packings are manufactured in a more robust manner. Packings in a pneumatic cylinder are manufactured so that they are able to operate even in an oilless environment. So a hydraulic cylinder has a structure that helps endure high pressure hydraulic oil during its operation. Finally, when we talk about double acting cylinders, a hydraulic cylinder typically uses a four port valve for direction control, whereas a pneumatic cylinder uses a five port valve. 
a pneumatic cylinder can simply discharge used compressed air into the air, which is why it consists of one entry port, two ports for direction change, and two ports for discharging compressed air, for a total of five ports in a valve. An animation of direction change is as shown on the screen. In contrast, a hydraulic cylinder may not discharge hydraulic oil as it is. Instead, it must be returned to a hydraulic tank. Thus, it consists of one entry port, two ports for direction change, and one port for the return to a hydraulic tank, for a total of four ports in a valve. An animation of direction change is as follows. Thus, since a hydraulic cylinder uses hydraulic oil, it shows characteristics that are different from those of a pneumatic cylinder. In order to control a cylinder automatically, a sensor that detects the position of a piston is commonly utilized, and this sensor is called an auto switch. Here, the auto switch detects the magnetism of a magnet installed in the piston inside a pneumatic or a hydraulic cylinder to figure out the position of the piston and control the cylinder. For a typical hydraulic cylinder whose tube is made of carbon steel, the carbon steel, which is a magnetic body, scatters the magnetism of the magnet attached to the piston, so it is unable to deliver magnetism to the auto switch. This is why an auto switch cannot be used. If the tube of a hydraulic cylinder is manufactured with non-magnetic stainless steel, however, it is possible to use an auto switch. Therefore, if you wish to control a hydraulic cylinder with an auto switch, you can simply make the tube with non-magnetic stainless steel. Moreover, each hydraulic cylinder has a different pressure range it can withstand. So if you know the range of pressures you use, it will help in selecting the right cylinder. For example, the working pressure of KCC's KP140H series is about 7 MPa and 14 MPa as shown in the performance table, whereas the working pressure of KP210H is 21 MPa, so you can see that each hydraulic cylinder has a different working pressure. Hydraulic cylinders are popularly used in machines to which large forces are applied and in a wide range of industries. Hydraulic cylinders are utilized in various industries, including heavy equipment such as excavators, bulldozers, and forklifts, transportation such as brakes in cars, aircraft pilot and steering gear of ships, metal processing such as forging, casting, and cutting, machine tooling such as milling, drilling, and grinding, as well as robots, catapults, printers, and rockets. Because these hydraulic cylinders are being used in a variety of industries, they are manufactured in diverse shapes and forms. Let's take a quick look at different types of hydraulic cylinders made by KCC. First is the standard type cylinder. It is a cylinder assembled by a common tie rod and products with varying inner tube diameter are manufactured. Second is the compact type cylinder. The length in the axial direction is shorter which makes it easily installable even in small spaces. KCC is capable of producing compact type cylinders with aluminum tubes, and this product is lighter than a hydraulic cylinder with a steel tube and is able to use an auto switch. Third is the rotating cylinder, which achieves a rotating motion as a stator is fixed into the cylinder body and you can select products with either 90 degree or 180 degree angle of rotation depending on your situation. Fourth is the telescopic cylinder. Since a cylinder stroke is designed with multiple stages, it is able to materialize longer stroke than a common cylinder, which makes it a good fit for applications in need of long strokes. In addition, there are cylinders for iron making, low hydraulic cylinders, and many other kinds of hydraulic cylinders. Today, we've briefly examined hydraulic cylinders that are being used in various industries. Did it help you with your understanding of hydraulic cylinders? Ms. Pneumatic will come back next time with another hydraulic and pneumatic video. Thank you! Ms. Pneumatic's Easy Pneumatic Works with KCC, a company specializing in hydraulic and pneumatic manufacturing.